Well, hello everybody and welcome to part one of the mail call for January of 2019 in February. And I hope your 2019 is off to a great start. Well, obviously for me, January was probably the wildest and wooliest month that I have had on YouTube probably since... I want to say late 2015. It has been wild. It has been rocking. I've been buffeted by more cross currents over the last, uh, over that month of January, whip to and fro. Uh, I know I caused some problems for some people. I know some people caused problems for me. But uh, all in all, I think that uh, through all of that, it's a question of how you move forward. And I've had a lot of time to reflect on things and take lessons that people have given me, uh, particularly on things that uh, may not appeal to them, such as certain things on uh, street streams, and, uh, you know, kind of own that stuff. And as much as my opinion might differ from yours, I understand it's a, uh, it is still uh, a place where there's going to be a diversity of opinions. I may not have to agree with them, but I should honor the differences of opinions that are out there. So let's get to part one. Was the swatting of January 27th real or was it staged? I don't think of anybody, I can't think of anybody um, in my known universe that would waste police resources on a self-staged kind of uh, event like happened on the evening of the 27th of January when the cops banged on the front door and pretty much stormed in because they thought that somebody was being knifed on here, okay? I mean, it takes... Uh, it would take a person with just zero grounding in life to do that to themselves, okay? It's not something I do. Obviously, some people were upset about the, probably the stream that occurred, uh, you know, and going to the tavern out in Sebastopol and the memorial service. Some people would, uh, I don't have memorial service, but... The little remembrance area and what was going on that night and my failure to really recognize what was happening in their opinion. Okay, and they're entitled to that opinion. But the event was very real. Some people put out videos claiming it was not. But at the end of the day, I've put out the incident report number multiple times. I've given a number where people can call with that incident report and find out that, uh, yes, in fact, it did happen. Whether people choose to, I can't worry about what people do. I put it out there. There's some people that choose to ignore because they run an agenda. There's some people that uh, deny it because they want to be uh, dislikers on the channel. I get that. But they have to face the reality that it is out there and it did, uh, it did really happen. Um, this person says, I never heard Jen side to the police visit. Were there guns drawn? I will not comment on anything on this channel related to firearms. Okay? We're allowed to go to the gun range. We're allowed to have you guys along. There's no issue with that whatsoever. But what I refuse to do is to describe police encounters that happen here on the rancho. This is not the first time the Rancho has been swatted, believe me, over six years, trust me, okay? But I'm saying I will not comment on police tactics or the disposition of the police in terms of their armaments when they arrive here on the Rancho. I will leave it to your imagination if somebody calls and says that there's somebody engaged or maybe on the wrong end of a knifing incident by a, a spurned ex-boyfriend, the cops are going to come in pretty uh, pretty aggressive. They ain't going to beat down a door. Okay? I mean, you got a hell of a time when you come up here and see a metal outer door, security door. You're going to have a hell of a time battering that door in. Okay, let's be real. All right. 
And the fact that the call came in a certain way alerted the police that they did not have to be on their highest priority with the way that they appeared. But I will not ever comment on the use of uh, firearms in any type of police engagement. Uh, let's see, number three. I heard a guy on another channel threatening to cause harm to Elvis and maybe you. Any comment on that? <clears throat> it's a big universe ad on YouTube. You know, I think this person's referring to Melton John and his recent appearance on the uh, scene in late January. People run all kinds of programs here on YouTube. I still contend it's going to be the person that will harm you, that you're never going to see any profile or any presence of here on YouTube. The people that come on here and threaten through uh, hidden names, and uh, they're not the ones I believe that you really have to worry about in terms of bodily harm. It's the person out there that happens to see you or makes it a point to go where you are unknown to anybody else on YouTube and can really mess up your world. To anybody with an ounce of sense, that's the person that you worry about. The one that will never show up on a side chat, will never take credit for anything, will be happy to just go back to their home and just put the incident behind them. They don't need the glory run. They don't need any of That's the person that I worry. This person says, uh, Pollyanna, Pollyanna, Pollyanna. Always, always, Rosie, year in, year out, the smiles, the smiles, the positive. You really are a Mary Poppins on YouTube. But how do you stay positive after all the BS coming down with streaming on the street and community splitting? Uh, it's been my experience on YouTube that uh, communities split and reform all the time. I've seen it myself. And one of my contentions in early February here is that the way that you see the communities now, I can almost guarantee you the membership and the streams will be different by the end of 2019 than they are today. Because things change, content creators do new things. We now have the uh, drama community and Boyd forever intertwined in each other now. And people are always watching, and people are always noting, and they're always there to call out behaviors. Now, behaviors can change over time, okay? And some people can try to put a different foot forward. may not always succeed. It's very difficult to do. But the thing I can say is you can either meet that with happily and try to go forward as a positive person, or you can let you can yet let what happens on YouTube dominate your life and turn you into a very negative person. I refuse to be that uh, person. Um, so I can't help how communities split and the way people see things. This person said, "Do you think? Do you think the events of January?" We're part of uh, Dave's Fisherman, Dave the Fisherman's plan to disrupt the Boyd. If so, it was brilliant. You're a hell of a tool. Well, given a chance between going forward and somebody uh, coming through the area and the potential to meet them, I will take that opportunity to meet them. Whether Dave is running a program anything like that, that's in Dave's mind or not in his mind. Okay, there's nothing I can do to get into his brain. Did Dave want to be a member of the community again? Yes. Was Dave's original intent to try to come on here and have friends in a community? Yes. Is Dave going to be a significant part of the community? Yes. Would he have been anyway? Yes. Because over time, it's inevitable that people gather additional followers on their streams and things. So how can I know? It make it may fit a convenience of a script to talk about that. But, you know, we are on the Boyd here, and we do like to see 
you know, underlying game plans and possibly scripts being put together. But what I would suggest is you ask Dave that, because my experience came out of that very positive. I think Dave at times is an extremely harsh person. You know, he can be very rough on the chat and his spoken word. But I've also met Dave in person. And I know that in person he is a bit of a different person than he conveys on stream. But I don't have any regrets for having uh, met him. As far as a plan to disrupt the boy, I have no idea. Um, this person says the, uh, the so-called SWAT was another example of stage drama. Bravo. The big question is, who played the cops <laughs> on the visit? It is what it is. Huh? Anyway, I want to thank you for being here for part one of the mail call for January of 2019 in February. Have a wonderful rest of your month. And one thing I can tell you, there's always more to come. Thanks, everybody.